Mary Me. Welcome to my channel. This is Tiger Lily. We are going to be going over my altar and what I have on it. I'll probably show you uh, my main altar, which is this one, and then my mermaid altar and maybe my family altar. I'm undecided on that. Um, but I just wanted to go through some of the things I have on my altar. And I'm actually going to take a step back so you can see all of it. Um, I actually have mine um, actually kind of decorated um, all the way down. <laughs> Um, I have a space in my um, garage that I use as my room. I have a whole craft room and everything um, that I use for my space. And this fabric I had bought, I actually made a pair of leggings with and I had some extra and then I made a dress out of this. And then as I was sitting here, because I am the water element and I have my tiger there for my um, spirit animal. But uh, I just really pulled from the blues and the purples and it just made me feel comfortable. Um, with that and so that's why I kind of put a background um, on there but this is my altar this is my cork board I keep reminders of things on here because I have terrible memory no matter how long I do something I never remember I have the moon faces and then I have a uh, little slight um, information on the different moon phases and the order that they in because you know like I said I can't remember anything ever so I always have it in front of me when I check my moon app I'm like crap what phase is the moon in and then I'll be like oh yeah that I can do it do this type of magic it's good for them and then I have my calendar which I have it upside down I think I didn't even realize it because um, I was looking for like fall or summer over here one day or something and it's it's flipped around the wrong way but oh well um, I have a mild um, little crystal chart of some of the basic like like crystals that I started off with um to remind me what they are because terrible memory um I actually keep this here I actually put this here when I was um trying to figure out kind of where I was but um I just went ahead and put up the witch mean of eclectic witch there I don't know I, I mean I know what it is I guess I just leave it there um from one of my books my candle magic book I printed out some charts of um, the elements, the herbs, and the oils, the elements for their primary qualities, purposes, so on and so forth. So I printed these out out of one of my books and leave that up there to help me. Um, one day I was bored and I hand wrote um, candle meanings and colors and what they're used for. And you can tell when I sprinkle my water around, I get my paper. So. That one's looking a little rough. This one here I got from a friend that I buy my pearls from. And she, uh, when she gives you the pearls, she gives you the color meanings. So I put the color meanings and the pearls um, up here because pearls are one thing that I do collect. And I buy them from her, Lori, on Facebook. So that is just, and then I leave. I have my other two card decks, I think, in my purse because I had them on me. But that is my Isis Oracle deck that I leave on my altar. And then I leave my mermaid one on my mermaid altar. And my cosmic one I have in my purse. Other than that, it would be on my altar or somewhere. Sorry, I'm a little congested. And I hate sniffing every five seconds. So, this is actually, I guess you can kind of say my second altar. Because the first one I used to have in my closet when I was trying to just ground myself and be comfortable and figure out who I am. Um, I... 100% kept it hidden. My kids even knew, don't go in my room, don't. <laughs> but now, like I said, I have um, my own room, you say, but it's my garage. I keep it locked and stuff. And um, so this is my altar that we're going to go through. And you're going to hear my son, Caden, in the background. But we'll start over here. <laughs> All right, now this over here in this corner, this is one of my Isis pictures. Um, she is my first deity. And, um, so I have a picture of her here. I, um, really, I love this picture. Um, I absolutely love it. This is her tribute oil, um, that I keep on my altar for her. Um, I have a video of, um, how I made it and what exactly is in it, so I won't go into big detail. So this is a tribute oil that I always leave on my altar for her. This is just what I wanted to do. And then this is, um, filled with myrrh. This is filled with myrrh because she likes myrrh as a tribute as well. So um, I leave that there. But also, if I find pretty flowers or I find something that I want to tribute to her, I will place it right there. 
Um, this is my water side. So this is the west. Um, I keep my bowl of consecrated water and salt. I change, I actually use moon water um, for this purpose. I don't use anything else. I charge it to the moon. Um, so this is always moon water. My, my child. I leave my cow eye over here for my mermaids and the element of water. It's a really good um, shell to have. These are my pearls and my tiger's eye that I leave on the water side. This is all representation of water. And then I have my coral that I leave over here. And then I took little, um, I can't think of what, they're not tea lights, but I bought a bag of these from Goodwill. I literally have like 15 of them. So each one I color coordinated with the elements. I have a yellow, green, and red, and blue. So of course this one I keep um, in the blue. I usually use tea lights, but I ran out of tea lights, but I had a bunch of these. So I keep white candles in here, and it lasts a little bit longer than tea lights. This is my fire side. This is my wand, uh, my very first wand that I made. I personally leave this on um, the side of fire. I know I've read that the Athena should be on fire and the wand should be in air. Me personally, I use my wand more than my Athena, so I feel like it has 10 times more strength to it. And so I leave it on the fire side. My Athena, I only use it to carve in candle carving. Um, or if I want to like make a marking in the soil before I bury something, I really don't use my athema that much. I'm, I'm a wand user. So I feel like my wand is more powerful for me, for my athema. I just feel comfortable with that. So I leave it on here on my fire side. Again, this is my fire candle that I apparently spilled something on, but it's all good. Um, and then I leave selenite and black tourmaline on my altar. Um, for me, I, I feel comfortable with those two there. It's a great powerhouse set, and I think it's a great spot to leave on my altar. Um, I need to get a stand for this, but in the center is... But <laughs> this was an instant burner, but then I go ahead and just leave this in the center. Um, and then I also have my amethyst. And this went on a bracelet I have of hematite, and it was for hope. And I think I just realized I have a terrible memory. This is for the spirit. I know, I want to say that's a spirit. I have terrible memory, guys, so don't chew me out because I get something wrong. Because no matter what, I have it written down somewhere. <laughs> this is my abalone shell that I use for cleansing, um, for smudging, anything of that nature. Um, I leave everything in here until the full moon, and then I bury it and then start over, cleanse it from there. So it has um, lavender, rosemary my Palo Santo, and then those are my charcoal rounds. Um, these are, this is my goddess candle, and this is my god candle. Um, as you see, actually this is a brand new candle, because for a while, um, I don't know why, I, I think I just had one candle to represent both, but I just felt like I wanted to have two, so um, this is a brand new one, and this one um, clearly is not. Um, going more this way. This is my Athene. I actually found this in my home, which is awesome. It is a water, um, like, knife Athene. Um, those are like the fish scales, and it has an anchor. My sister actually, I've been in this house for like three years, and my sister actually noticed that. So I cleansed it and consecrated it to me. But yeah, I found a bunch of swords and this in my house, and I've been here for like four years. I just found them. So this is my Athena. Like I said, I don't really use this, and that looks like a fish spine. I don't use it that much, but um, that is my Athena. And Lord knows if I pronounce that right, because everyone I hear everyone say it differently. So. And then, of course, here is my air um, candle. Um, that's what I hold my instant in, my yellow feather for air, and I like the color yellow, and I didn't realize that I got a yellow feather until, like, months after I got it. I didn't put the two together. I'm a little slow. This is my bell that I use when I start. Um, I circle around and ring the bell at least three times. Sometimes when I welcome the elements, I'll ring a bell just to show that they're well, that now's their time to welcome. I ring it. Sometimes I use it to cleanse. 
Uh, if I feel negative energy, I'll ring it. Um, but that's just my bell that I use. Sometimes I use it as a candle snuffer. <laughs> these are my sand dollars. Um, I leave these over here because of Yummy Yah, which I'll get to that. But these are sand dollars that I have. I think I have like five of them. But I leave them over here because they're in tribute to Yummy Yah, which um, is my other deity, which um, I work with Yummy Yah and Isis. And I think I'm going to be working solely with Yummy Yah, um, just from some signs and stuff that I have gotten. But um, this again is in a video of a tribute oil that I made. I leave this 100% on my altar. I don't have a picture of Yummy Yah yet because I need to get ink in my printer. But um, a picture of her will go there. This is a bowl that I keep. Um, it's not exact, it'll exactly like a cauldron or something. But um, I will sometimes, as you can see, I will sometimes burn my loose incense in here. Um, if I'm doing a spell and I need to burn something, I will usually probably burn it in here. Sometimes I will just put my offerings in here. But I absolutely love this bowl. I got it from a metaphysical shop that's um, near me, probably like 40 minutes away. But I keep that there. I keep a cluster of quartz and a geode that my sister and her um, husband got for me. This, I, I need gold. a new one. This was gold for the spirit. I clearly need a new one because I burn it all the time. Um, but I usually did, I have my element candles and then I burn the last one for the spirit. Um, I specifically wanted one for them to be there. This is my earth. My bowl of salt that being in my garage, I change that regularly because it gets pretty moist in here. So then it gets really hard. But I keep salt out on my altar. These are rocks that I just have here. Something else to represent earth like my quartz and my geode there. So that is a roundabout of the top of my altar. Real quick. And then, like I said, I keep all that stuff there. Um, I usually have my pendulum hanging here, but I've been oh, losing it. So it's actually in my room. Um, underneath here, I have some things stored. Um, that's what holds my crystals. My universe box. That's my banishing box that I use. My rose water. Over here is where I keep my incense and my matches. I keep my incense and my matches in here, and that was one of my chakra candles um, that I did a seven day, used for a seven day spell. There's some candles in here, but some incense. This is where I leave all my candles. I don't feel like pulling it all out, but in this box is where all my active candles are. My chime candles, spell candles, um, like that. I love you too, Kaden. Um, apparently I do have some more. I don't know what I use that for. I don't know, but it looks weird. I don't know what I use it for, but it turned out really weird. Um, and there's my other small candle that I got. I got this from Goodwill. I will probably, I use this for spell casting too. I mainly use this when I know I'm going to use two charm candles. And then I will burn in loose incense or whatever I need to burn in here. And then single candles. I do have these. I have four of these, so even if I want to do four candles, I use four of these. Um, in my old place, when I, when I had an altar, this used to be like on the wall, but now I just leave this here to store here. I have candles all over the place. I don't know why I do. Um, but then, sometimes I may take this with me if I do like a lineup like this. It just depends on what I'm doing. I don't know what my child is doing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is a broom that my sister got for me. So we have two matching, we have a matching broom. Um, I may, I'll use this to sweep out before I, um, it's another cleansing mechanism. Of course, every witch needs a broom. Um, this is another sword that I found in my house. Um, as you see, it's kind of beat up, but I found this, but I keep this over here by my altar. So this is my main altar. As I said, sorry about the noise and if I went through that super, super fast. Um, I know I've just been trying to do this and trying to wait for quietness. Yeah, that probably will never happen. So you heard my son in the background hanging out. Um, but then also, I do keep my Harry Potter stuff up here. <laughs> I have Harry Potter collection stuff up there. Um, and then my um, Felix Felicia's necklace hangs there. So I mean, 
this is this is my magic corner. So I hope you liked um, this altar. Um, this is my main altar, like I said, I um, practitioner at. And then I will show you my mermaid altar as well. All right, guys. So now we're gonna go over my mermaid altar. The centerpiece here is my mermaid um, chandelier I got from Goodwill that my sister found for me. I leave my Pisces necklace here. And then I have a collection of shells, starfish that my sister got for me. Some shells I found, my sand dollar, sand, um, sand, a little tiny sand dollar, um, urchins that I got from Lori, and this is from one of my pearls. Um, I leave my kids around here, and I have this, uh, picture frame that has all the people that I care about and stuff like that and it always um, changing my grandmother's um, but um, I I purposely wanted to have my mermaid altar here just because my mermaids when I resonate with them it's love and so much energy so I always want my mermaids to help me you know send that out to them um, constantly as I'm always with them this is my mermaid music it's not really a music box I don't even think it opens uh, my sister found this at Goodwill, so I had to get it. It was only $5, and it plays music. Let's see if I can turn it. Ah, turn it with one hand. But it turns and plays music. And she holds a pearl. Yay. Um, and then this I got from my sister. These are some colored shells. I'll just leave here just to add some color to them. Um, I found this at Goodwill as well. My sister found this. This was the very first witch ball that I made, and I wanted to make a tribute to mermaids. My vision turned out ten times better than the ball, but I just keep it here anyway. But I had dyed yarn and made it blue for the water, and then I wanted sand in it, and I put a shell, a turtle, I put a baggie of moon water, no, thunder water in it, and um, there is a charm on here of dolphins, but like I said, it didn't really turn out the way my vision had it, but oh well. Um, this is a bottle that I found in my house. I find a lot of random things in my house. I actually, um, it actually is salt water, and then I put some food colored in it just to give it some blue feeling. I put some of that fake um, greener in there for one of our fish tanks. I put one of my blue pearls, and I put some of my shells in here as well with sand, because um, I really want it to have an ocean feel, you know, for the mermaids. So I love that my blue um, pearl just kind of centers all of it, and then the shells just come over it. This is my mermaid wand that I made. This is what I leave over here as well, and um, I do my mermaid card readings at this altar. Um, anytime that I want to work with the mermaids and use this wand, I do it at this altar. Usually when it's around love and light, um, definitely love, um, and just a lot of emotions, I will come to my mermaid altar. Now my idea is to get a big mermaid statue and put it here, because this is just there. It's an eyesore, um, but it helps keep my wand up. But I want to get a tall, like, mermaid statue. Um, but those are my two kids when they were younger that I leave here, and like I said, my friends and family are in there. Um, and this is where, oh, my, um, uh, Oracle cards are over here. I just did a reading, so that's why they're out of the bag. But that's the bag that I keep them in, and then I leave them on my altar. So this one is my mermaid altar that I use. Um, this is what works for me. I love it. Um, everyone that comes to my house can see that my love for mermaids and the water, and I just, I, I love that my sister found that because it's just, it just tops it off. So, thank you. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And definitely if you like this video, um, if you want to share with some ideas that you use for your altar, there is no wrong way to make an altar. It is all the way that you enjoy how it works for you. So, I thank you and you have a great rest of your day. Blessed be.